Hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're out here today on the Troy. Gonna do a bit of enduro riding. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick out a track. Uh, it's a pretty technical track. And I'm gonna do a run down it, riding my lines that I normally ride day to day. And then uh, I'm gonna session my way down the track and like scope out some different lines and see if I can eke a bit of time out of each little section and then do a timed run again at the end and see the difference. So it's like, this is somewhere I ride quite a lot and I kind of have pretty decent lines but I feel like there's probably more to be found. Let's see, I reckon, I reckon there's probably a few gems to be found on this track so I should be able to get a good bit of time out of it. Uh, yeah, stay tuned, see how we get on. Right, so here we are, top of the bit of track we're gonna use. And yeah, gonna session my way down and see what see what lines we can improve on. Let's have a look. So I reckon we have our first little section here. Yeah, it's quite a tricky one. It's like the main safe line pulls you down into this rut and then you cross this route back onto the rock and it's, it's not too bad like it's safe so you know you'll catch the rut and get across every time but you're kind of adding in corners and maybe costing yourself energy like there's only so fast you can do the turn before because you need to get back to the other side of the track to get into this rut to then cross the track again so there's a lot of crossing back and forward so I think what I'm going to try to do is just let it run wide a bit out of the corner before meaning I can break less on the entry and then come high and hop this route onto the back of the rock and then that should give me good exit speed as well it's a bit like at the moment it's nice and dry so it'll work sweet but uh, in the wet it could be a bit tricky the idea of hopping the route also will make you kind of feel tighten up a bit and may, maybe ride a bit slower but that this new line should take less energy and yeah like hitting that well and clean it's quicker and it's less energy so then that's it's a win-win really so uh, yeah I'll give it a go now see what's like Alright, here we are, next section. Pretty tight bit of forest this. It's probably like the tightest part of the track. Sections like this, I feel like it's pretty easy to overlook and just get through it and then the, the more fun, more like popular sections, it's easier to focus on them, but you can definitely make time in this kind of stuff. So yeah, what I just did there was the line that I normally do and I always feel like this tree is really close. So you can never like just do your turn and let go of the brakes and then get your speed back. It's always like a, a duck and a shimmy. What I'm gonna try to do is come out here. So it's pretty much the same thing, but instead of doing it over that tree root, I'm gonna do it here, so hopefully it'll mean I can brake later, come in, flick the back wheel, change direction, and just let it go. And it should, yeah, it should just simplify it and hopefully be a bit faster. We'll see, I'll give it a go now. scary jeez I thought this was like quite a simple little straight but it was like a little rise I just picked up off it and where I landed it was real soft so my front wheel just went and it like nearly just threw me into a big rock but I managed to steer away from it Ooh, I got the heart going I'm gonna try again but just keep her a bit keep it on the ground you know I think I, I think I work better on the ground Alright, so we're here at pretty much the key section of the track. Uh, it's pretty pretty techy, pretty rocky, pretty steep, slippy. Uh, it's a real good section and it's a real, like if this was a race stage, this would be the section where you make or lose probably the most time. Um, so what I've just done is the main line, 
<coughs> which in this rock section is is really good. You just come straight down the middle of the rock, rail the turn, sweet, but then into the next section you get a problem. We'll talk about that a bit later. Uh, whereas the line I'm going to try now is to come out super wide here um, into this kind of loamy area right out by this tree and then turn hard left. So I'm going to use that kind of soft dirt, fresh stuff to do a lot of my turning and then cross the off camber. So that's where it's really hard is there's a big tree root there. There's a few smaller roots and it's just off camber and slippy. And then that gives you a high line and a better line into the next corner. So although it's a bit slower here, it's way quicker down there. So it's worth it. But it's one where you really need to break down the whole section as one. And it's three turns before that that you're setting up for it. So you're getting ready for it back here, but you get the reward down there. So we'll go down and have a bit of a look at that bit as well and see see how, how this links into the bottom section of this. Right, so here we are at the bottom half of this section. Um, the line I just rode brings me in here. So up until this point, it's really fast and flowy. But then you get to here and you have a tight right-hander and then it drops you down into a really tight right-hander with a tree right on your inside. And it's real sticky, deep mud as well. Uh, that's basically the main line. It's one I do most of the time, one most people do. But the line we're gonna try is up above. So as I was saying, you set up and then you get up above this big rock. And that then gives you a much wider arc into this right-hander. So then you can cut back in tight inside and just avoid that whole drop into the tight right. Um, yeah, and it's a much better exit. It gives you a much better setup for the next turn. It is on the track for anyone thinking I'm just cutting the track. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's definitely like, it just, it just makes the whole section kind of a nice flowing arc rather than a fast, nice line to just a point where you just go and lose all your speed. Yeah, it's hard to do. It's hard to get this off camera right, but I think when it does go well and it does work, it's it's got to be quicker like it's just it's just way quicker down here so uh yeah i'll give it a go now and hopefully get up onto the high line and we'll be laughing great success yeah that was mint it uh it's a lot more work but yeah it's definitely way quicker like even the top rocky bit it's probably not even that much slower to do that setup, but like down here into the bottom turns, it's so much quicker and you just, you just carry your speed and you're flowing, you're not having to work hard. So uh, yeah, definitely happy with that one. That's the line now. closer than I thought. So the problem is there's like there's two roots before the rock. So it's like a bump bump rock. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Don't answer that. Yeah it's actually it's a good line but it's hard to know if it's actually faster. I'm gonna try it again because that time I was pretty cautious over the top rock roll just to make sure I was lined up for the jumping off the rock. Like I think it was quicker down here exit speed because I was more straight from further up but I was definitely slower over the top rock so I'm going to try it again and see if I can carry more speed into it and then more speed out and see but I think it's close like it's not going to be a line that'll gain you loads of time you know even if it's only half a second then that's you know it's worth doing then because those little half a seconds add up over the course of a run or stages or full race weekend so yeah interesting stuff interesting stuff Right, there we go now, we've done the run section down the track. Um, found quite a few lines, some big, some small. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get the clock out now and go time it and see what is the difference. Like see, you know, it's a trail that I know fairly well. I can ride at a pretty good speed, but to see if stopping and actually breaking it down is gonna get that much quicker. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see the results now. I don't know if it's gonna be a massive difference or, yeah, I just don't know. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, let's have a look.
truck. Oh, 154. Oh. Okay. Now, that's the first one done. Pretty good run. My eyes water quite a bit. I couldn't see perfectly the whole time, but uh, yeah, happy enough. Solid run. Like I probably wouldn't wouldn't be able to go much quicker riding those lines. So uh, yeah, go up now. Give it a go. Doing the new lines that I found. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Definitely freaking out that section anyway. Wow, much quicker. Oh, oh wow. That's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, gotta get my breath back. That's intense. Yeah, that second run, like, it felt like I wasn't as urgent as kind of expected. I kind of relaxed a bit more, and those lines really let me do that because there was never so many. I feel like when you take the bad lines, you lose your speed. And then you need to get it back and you kind of panic. You're like, oh shit, I need to get my speed back up and that kind of gets you flustered and you lose your flow a bit. Whereas yeah, that one, I just kind of kept good speed the whole way. Oh, you don't. And that let me just kind of keep that flow and relax more. I wasn't panicking so much. And yeah, happy that run. Like maybe one or two little bits could have been better, but like you'll get that, you know? Um, yeah, so the first time was like, a 154.7 like or something, a high 154. And then that was a 149.1. So five and a half, six seconds in the difference, which like, you know, they're both good runs and judging by the feeling, I might have like, when I was coming into the finish, I was like, geez, this might actually be a similar time, but it was actually quite a lot quicker with those lines. So uh, yeah, really interesting, really interesting. That kind of, I knew the lines would help, but that surprised me. I think a lot of it definitely would have been in that one corner we looked at where that tight right-hander into deep mud, like that killed me in the first run. Um, that's a really big line, I think, to get around that. But uh, yeah, really, really interesting. Uh, so yeah, back of the van now, finished up. Um, yeah, that was brilliant. Really interesting to like get a trail that I'm used to and I know and dissect it and find little lines like that and see the difference. And uh, yeah, like it rides so much better when you have those lines. It just flows together better and it's faster as well. So. Uh, yeah, really interesting. It's definitely something I'd, you know, I'll, I I do quite a bit anyway, but I'll definitely try to do more of it now. Um, and something I'd recommend doing as well if you're trying to improve your riding. So uh, yeah, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, more on the way, so give us a subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, comment below if you want to see more of this or what else you want to see. But um, thanks for watching. Cheers.